Listen, I'm back. I don't know what happened, but good morning. Happy Thursday, Friday Eve. Just wanted to get on. Something has been my spirit. You know, God, I hate this when I don't look good on Facebook. All right. Uh, in my spirit this morning, as I slept, woke up with the book of Joshua. Uh, Joshua is one of the leaders I identify with in the Bible because of his obedience to God and ushering the people. He was the successor of Moses, so he had to, you know, shift uh, the people's mindsets to embrace his uh, God-assigned leadership. And he was the anointed and appointed one to lead them to the promised land. Uh, so it was a lot going on. And Joshua was, was very strong in leadership. But one thing that the book of Joshua uh, that I'm learning is that um, during your promised land, we learned that, you know, once we get into the promised land, uh, I know I learned that it was, once we get to the promised land, it was full of peace. And once we get to the promised land, we've made it. But there are promised land battles that you have to fight um and it's all assigned by god and once you get into a promised land if you read in the book of joshua there were many battles that they had to fight once they got into the promised land one of the great uh, battles and most familiar ones is uh the battle of jericho and that was a, a strange battle because they had to do some strange things god gave them a strange instruction he said, I want you to fight like this. I want you to walk around the the wall six days. And on the seventh day, walk around seven times, shout, and then the walls will come down. And so that was strange to them, but they were obedient. Joshua and his leadership was obedient. And what happened? They did exactly that. And the walls of Jericho came falling down. And there were many other battles that they had to uh, endure in their promised land. So I leave you with this on this Friday Eve. Once you're in your promised land, don't think that it's going to be peaceful and that you're going to relax. Uh, there's some fighting that you have to do because in your promised land, there are things there that God wants to clean out. There are people there that God wants to clean out. And so if you know that you know that you are in your promised land, your promised land can be uh, the job that he gave you. It could be the, the marriage that he gave you. It could be the children that you uh, foster or adopted. It could be the church that he sent you to. It could be the business that he allowed you to launch or the project. And you're thinking, "What, well, God, why are all these battles? Why am I have to fight all these things? Um, just know your promised land is full of battles until God cleans out. Uh, what he needs to clean out and who he needs to clean out. So your fight isn't over. Follow the strange instructions of God. Um, and know that if it's your promised land and God sent you there and, he gave me, and he's giving you instructions, you're going to win the battle if you follow and obey the instructions that he gave you. Now, reading the book of Joshua, you know there were some battles that they lost because they were disobedient. But when you're obedient in the battle... God's going to allow you to win. And so that's my word that I leave you today. Be obedient in your promised land battles because it's your promised land. And God said it's your promised land. I don't know what that is. But that's a battle I have to fight. I love you guys. Bye-bye.